ABS-CBN Corporation is the largest entertainment and media conglomerate in the Philippines. It is one of the core businesses of the Lopez Holdings Corporation which are headed by an influential Filipino family. It was formed by the merger of Aquino Broadcasting System and the Kajunko Business Network. It was incorporated as the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation on February 1, 1967, shorted to simply ABS-CBN Corporation in 2010 to reflect the company's diversification. The common shares of ABS-CBN was first traded in the Philippine Stock Exchange in July 1992 under the ticker symbol ABS and as of August 2015 has a market capitalization of over 50 billion pesos. It owns and operates two national television networks, two regional radio networks, 12 cable channels, two high-definition TV channels, two HD radio channels, six international channels along with services dealing in telecommunications, film and television production and distribution, music production and publishing, print publishing, talent development and management, home TV shopping, theme park and a number of internet and digital properties such as abs-gbnews.com, abs-cbn tv plus, seen mo, chicken pork adobo, i want tv, and yay. It is also the principal owner of abs-cbn philharmonic orchestra. History. Equals beginnings equals. The nucleus of abs-cbn corporation began in 1946 with Bolin A Electronics Corporation. BEC was established by James Lindenberg, one of the founding fathers of Philippine television, an American electronics engineer who went into radio equipment assembly and radio broadcasting. At that time, the largest media company was Manila Broadcasting, with DZRH as the leading radio station. In 1949, James Lindenberg shifted Bolin A to radio broadcasting with DZBC and masterminded the introduction of television to the country in 1953. In 1951, Lindenberg partnered with Antonio Quirino, brother of then Philippine President Elpidio Quirino, in order to try their hand at television broadcasting. In 1952, BEC was renamed as Alto Broadcasting System or ABS. Alto was a contraction of Quirinau Euro Unregistered Trademark S and his Afia Euro Unregistered Trademark S first names, Tony and Ailey. Though they had little money and resources, ABS was able to put up its TV tower by July 1953 and import some 300 television sets. The initial test broadcasts began on September of the same year. The very first full-blown broadcast, however, was on October 23, 1953 of a party in Tony Quirino's home. The television station was known as DZAQ-TV. Equals merger equals. In turn, on September 24, 1956, the Chronicle Broadcasting Network was organized. The network was owned by Don Eugenio Lopez, Sr. and the then Philippine Vice President Fernando Lopez, and later on launched its very own TV station, DZXL-TV9. The following year, Don Eugenio acquired ABS from Quirino and Lindenberg. However, it was only on February 1, 1967 that the corporate name was changed to ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation to reflect the merger. In 1958 the network's new headquarters at Roxas Boulevard was inaugurated, and all radio and television operations were consolidated into its two buildings, the radio stations at the Chronicle Building at Aduana Street, in Tremoros. Manila, and the TV operations at the brand new Roxas Boulevard building in Pasay City. In the late 1950s, Don Eugenio's son, Jenny Lopez saw the potential of TV and radio to reach and link Filipinos across the archipelago. By the mid-1960s, the ABS network was leading the radio industry, with stations like DZXL and DZAQ Radio Patrol in the Manila area, which featured journalists like Ernie Barron. Bong Lapira, Oli Mikado, Joe Tarek, Mario Garcia, Bobby Guanzan, and Ray Langit, and various other stations nationwide. ABS also made breakthroughs in the TV industry by achieving the country's first color TV broadcast, first satellite feed, and first use of videotape, among others. It featured top shows then, such as Your Evening with Pilita and Tawag Ng Tanalan, 
the country's first comedy show Bue Artista, first Philippine game show, What's My Living and the first noontime show Student Canteen, among others. It was also pioneering in marathon election coverage in 1967 when the TV and radio stations of the network aired election updates for 36 hours sharp, making it a national first. On June 15, 1961, Eugenio Lopez, Jr. built the first provincial TV station in Cebu airing four hours with the tallest tower in Cebu measuring 216 feet. Within weeks, Another TV station in Dagupan opened its doors followed by the first broadcasts in Negros Island the following year. Two years later, the network's first test color broadcasts began through the help of the Radio Corporation of America. Color broadcasts started in November 1966, the first in the Philippines and Southeast Asia as the network was tagged as the first in color television with full-color broadcasting beginning in 1971 at all national television stations. On December 18, 1968, ABS-CBN opened its new broadcast center on Bohol Avenue, Quezon City, where it still stands today. At the time, it was the most advanced facility of its kind in Asia. The station again made breakthroughs by using the first live satellite transmissions from abroad, foremost of which was the first moon landing in 1969 and in the 1968 Summer Olympics in Mexico the year before. The network enjoyed a big portion of the ratings and won various awards and recognitions from different organizations. The network pioneered the first all-national news simulcasts also in the same year as well. By 1972, the ABS-CBN network owned and operated two television stations and seven radio stations in Manila, 14 radio stations and 3 television stations in the provinces. Equals martial law era equals, the station suffered a setback upon the declaration of martial law. On midnight of September 22, 1972, a day after the declaration of martial law, ABS-CBN and its affiliate stations were seized. Jenny Lopez, the president of the company, was imprisoned and held without trial for five years until he and his cellmate Sergio Osme plus or minus a three launched a daring jailbreak in 1977 and sought asylum in the United States together with his family. The network itself was taken over by Roberto Benedicto, a presidential crony, who used the broadcasting center at Bohol Avenue, then renamed as Broadcast Plaza, as the home of MBS4. Channel 2 would later be relaunched as the BBC2, with a completely new logo, slogan and a theme song from Jose Mari Chan entitled Big Beautiful Country, and sung by various artists. BBC Two later moved to new headquarters in Broadcast City in 1978. Equals Capture of Broadcast Plaza equals, at the height of the People Power Revolution, military reformists, believing that television would be a powerful tool to aid the revolution attacked and took over the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Center. On February 24, 1986, former ABS-CBN talents put the station back on the air and televised the drama of the unfolding uprising, thereby contributing to the strength of the revolt. BBC Two, on the other hand, ceased operations after reformists shut down its transmitter on the following day as Channel 2 frequency was turned over to the Lopez's on July 16, 1986. Equals rebirth and growth equals. On February 28, 1986, after the revolution, Jenny Lopez returned to the country after self-exile in the United States and started rebuilding from what was left of the station. Recovery was difficult and resources were low, hence, Former ABS-CBN employee Freddy Garcia was brought in to rework the station's programming. Thus, the channel began to rebroadcast to viewers once again starting September 14 the same year. By 1988, ABS-CBN had regained its foothold in Philippine TV ratings from dead last to being number one again. On March 1, 1987, Channel 2 was relaunched with the live musical special, The Star Network. Ang Pagbabala KNG Bichu and which noted for the then brand new numerical white tri ribbon Channel 2 logo with a white rompedal star as a centerpiece of the network's revival. Within the year, ABS CBN also beefed up its news programs with TV Patrol, anchored by a team of news readers composed of now former Vice President Naulida Castro, Mel Tienko, 
Frankie Evangelista, and Angelic Lazo, with the late Ernie Barron telling the daily weather forecast. Other reputable news programs followed, such as Make and Angabi, Bayan and Hoitzing. The entertainment programs of ABS-CBN were also revamped with series that previously aired on APN9 and IBC13, while producing original content. Another feature of its return to the top of the ratings is the introduction of the live-action Sentai and Tokusatsu show formats from Japan to Philippine television full-time. Filipino dubbed anime programs, another network and Philippine television first, would only begin in the transition to the 1990s, and 1987's Hikari Sentai Mask Man, aired by the network, was first ever Sentai program dubbed in the Filipino language. Within months after the relaunch in Manila, the revived network also restarted regional programs and broadcasting starting in Bogulo, Cebu, Negros and Davao and within the 1990s had also helped open new stations in other parts of the country. In early 1989, ABS-CBN shifted to satellite broadcast, enabling the entire country to watch the same programs simultaneously. This was also the very year when the network began international broadcasts to Guam and Saipan, Northern Marianas, also via satellite, yet another first for Philippine and Asian television. Slowly, the station inched its way to financial recovery, which it achieved by 1990, regularly garnering around 70% of the market. In 1992, ABS-CBN Talent Center was formed and in 1993, ABS-CBN launched Star Cinema as the company began to diversify. In 1995, Star Records was launched. In that year, ABS-CBN also launched their own website abs-cbn.com, the first Filipino television network in the World Wide Web and was created by its IT department Internet Media Group. On March 30, 1998, ABS-CBN Holdings Corporation was incorporated as World Tech Holdings Corporation for the primary purpose of issuance of Philippine Depository Receipt and the acquisition and holding of shares of ABS-CBN Corporation. Its Philippine Depository Receipt is traded in the Philippine Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol ABSP. Jenny Lopez died of cancer on June 29, 1999 in the United States. This happened six months before the network celebrated the millennium by unveiling a new logo and inaugurating its millennium transmitter in the corporation grounds, resulting in a more clear signal for its television and radio stations in Mega Manila. On May 27, 2010, the conglomerate dropped the word broadcasting from its corporate name. Equals expansion equals. Since the 1990s, ABS-CBN has expanded into various successful media and entertainment ventures such as talent development and management, filmmaking and distribution, as well as television production, music recording and distribution, print publishing, interactive media, cable channels, international television distribution, telecommunications, San Francisco International Gateway, and Sky, sports programming, post-production, home TV shopping, and theme park. On September 24, 1994, ABS-CBN signed a historic deal with Pan Amsat to bring the first Trans-Pacific Asian programming to some 2 million Filipino immigrants in the United States. This deal would later gave birth to the Filipino channel which is now available globally. The company has also syndicated its programs for international audience through its ABS-CBN International Distribution Division. Among the programs that gain popularity abroad are Panjako Zayo, K. Tegel Kang Ininte, Lobo, Sana Morlik Mulai, Karlit I Sang Saglit, and Be Careful With My Heart. ABS-CBN had a failed venture in online gaming industry in the Philippines through its now defunct subsidiary ABS-CBN Multimedia, Inc. The subsidiary was the owner of GetEmpt and Umpt Casual Games, the Philippine operator of Tantra Online, War Rock. Cronus, Ragnarok Online, and PopCap Games. Another failed venture was the $5 million deal with the now defunct social network site Multiply. In 2005, ABS CBN International acquired the Richmond, California based telecommunications port company San Francisco International Gateway from Laurel Space and Communications. 
San Francisco International Gateway provides satellite communications services through its 2.5-acre facility consisting of 19 satellite dish antennas and 9 modular equipment buildings. In 2007, ABS-CBN International launched Mix, the first and the only Asian-American youth music channel in the United States. It was later reformatted in 2011 to become a general entertainment channel targeted to the Asian Americans. In 2008, ABS-CBN International opened its state-of-the-art studio in Redwood City, California. Equals the Kafamilia Network equals. In 2003, during the 50th anniversary of Philippine television, ABS-CBN launched its present brand name, Kafamilia. Its international unit ABS-CBN Global Limited plans to undertake an initial public offering the following year and might list on the Singapore Stock Exchange to help finance its expansion plans. The network celebrated its golden anniversary in 2003. The network held its Kafamilia homecoming, which gathered over 4,000 former employees and talents for a grand reunion at ABS-CBN A Euro Unregistered Trademark S Compound in Bohol Avenue. Quezon City. The network also launched a promo called Treasure Hunt, where the people were invited to bring their oldest television, radio sets, microphones, and posters. The network also celebrated its 16th year reign in the TV ratings, with 13 of their shows included in the top 15 daily programs in TV. ABS CBN also launched new shows such as the then phenomenal Meteor Garden, etc. The company also did a nationwide caravan showcasing the network's talents. In October 19, 2003, the network held a month-long celebration of ABS-CBN and Philippine TV's 50th year. The station produced two commemorative documentaries about the station's contribution in news and entertainment. Zarmata NG Belito encapsulated some of the most unforgettable, most remarkable, and most celebrated landmarks of the last 50 years as captured by television news. 50 Tanun Ligawan, The Pinoy TV History, on the other hand, was the first extensive television documentary done about the history of Philippine television and the evolution of Philippine entertainment. For the celebration's finale, the broadcasting giant capped its 50th anniversary with a spectacular extravaganza dubbed as Cafamilia, ABS-CBN at 50, held at the Philippine International Convention Center in Pasay City. It was hailed as one of the biggest media events of the year. The Lopez-led network rolled out the red carpet to welcome its high-profile guests from the business, advertising and media sectors, politics, members of the diplomatic community, with many of the Societia Euro unregistered trademark S luminaries and glitterati. Valued friends and supporters of the network throughout the five decades also attended the Grand Affair. The network's official 50 years station ID won an award for excellence in the 2004 Golden Quill Festival. Equals recent developments equals. In 2008, ABS-CBN celebrated the 55th year of Philippine television. A new station ID entitled Beyond Television was launched. The anniversary TV plug depicts the growth of ABS-CBN from a small television station that started in 1953 into a media conglomerate that has businesses beyond television. It is also on this year that the Wall Street Journal Asia ranked ABS-CBN as the seventh most admired company of the Philippines and third in the Innovation Award category for its innovation in Internet TV with the now-defunct TFC Now. Service On April 26, 2009, ABS-CBN is the only media company to be cited as one of the country's top 15 listed companies in corporate governance, as shown by an annual survey of the Institute of Corporate Directors. It was the only media company to garner a score of 90% or higher in the 2008 Corporate Governance Scorecard, a survey of corporate governance practices among 172 publicly listed companies in the country. In 2011, ABS-CBN announced the development of a state-of-the-art studio complex in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan for a projected cost of billion pesos. A 15-hectare lot in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan was acquired earlier that year for 75 million pesos. In 2014, it was announced that the studio complex will consist of 10 sound stages and backlots. 
The company planned to build at least two sound stages a year for a cost of 600 million pesos or 300 million pesos for each sound stage. On January 1, 2013, Shiro Santos Concio was appointed as the new chief executive officer of the company taking over Gabby Lopez. Lopez remains the chairman of the company. On May 28, 2013, ABS-CBN Corporation, through its subsidiary ABS-CBN Convergence, Inc., signed a network sharing agreement with Globe Telecom for a new mobile telephony service in the country. The agreement includes the sharing of assets including switches, towers, servers, and frequencies. ABS-CBN is expected to spend between billion pesos for the next two years to build up its telco business. The plan have been approved by the National Telecommunications Commission and now operates as abs Mobile. In July 2013, ABS-CBN started the development of Kids in Year Manila Family Entertainment Center and Bonifacio Global City in Taguig. On May 30, 2014, ABS-CBN and its current president and CEO Shiro Santos Concio received the Gold Stevie Awards for the category's Services Company of the Year, Philippines and Woman of the Year at the Asia-Pacific Stevie Awards held in Lotte Hotel, Seoul, South Korea. ABS-CBN also received the coveted Gold Stevie Awards for the category Company of the Year, Media and Entertainment at the 11th Annual International Business Awards which was held in Paris, France on October 10. As a result of the win, ABS-CBN also won the vote-based FIOPLI Euro Unregistered Trademark S Choice Stevie Awards for favorite companies in the Media and Entertainment category. While their chairman Eugenio Lopez III received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the KBP. On March 19, 2015, Finance Asia ranked ABS-CBN as the third best mid-cap company in the Philippines. ABS-CBN is the only Filipino media company included on Asia's Best Companies 2015 list of Finance Asia. Branding of ABS-CBN, the ABS-CBN logo features three main elements the vertical line rooted on a horizontal origin, the three extending circles, and the text ABS-CBN. The vertical line or bar represents a tower, with the circles symbolizing its signals representing the red, green and blue or RGB colors which makes up a pixel shown on the television. The three divisions of the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, are also denoted by the three circles. Equals channel 2 equals, since 1969, the network has started using a channel logo beginning on DZAQ TV with the early Channel 2 logo for use as a promotion from 1969 to 1972 as the family channel. The frequency was later awarded to BBC as DWWX TV from 1973 to 1986, and had a different logo used. Channel 2 is currently used as the frequency of the flagship station of ABS-CBN in Metro Manila. ABS-CBN introduced an innovation to the Channel 2 logo from 1986 to 1992. At first, the Channel 2 logo was introduced into ABS-CBN, after the dissolution of BBC in July. A features of the first Channel 2 logo is a wing-shaped blue crest with a white curve at the top and a white line as a tail. The Broadway 2 logo was used from 1986 to 1987. It has a slogan name Watch Us Do It Again as the station ID aired since the network's revival. After six months of carefully selected plans, the first tri-ribbon 2 logo laced with a rhomboidal star came to be on March 1, 1987. The tri-ribbon 2 logo's color is white carried the slogan the star network when it aired as a station ID to reclaim the dominance in TV ratings. By 1988, the ribbons in the tri-ribbon 2 logo are tri-colored with red, green and blue. Truly. The Tri-Ribbon 2 logo was accidentally coming from a shooting star in the form of 2. Similarly, most numerical channel logos within this slogan have a star and versions came into regional TV channels like 3, 4 and other regional stations. The Tri-Ribbon was also used on microphone flags until 2000, the celebration of the new millennium. Equals Saramanok equals, the Saramanok. A legendary bird in Philippine folklore was first used in 1966 to identify colored broadcasts. In 1993, which happens to be the Chinese year of the rooster, 
ABS-CBN relaunched the Saramonok with a new station ID featuring the legendary bird. The Saramonok ID became utmostly associated with the channel that ABS-CBN opted it to become the station's mascot. ABS-CBN later named its new 24-hour news channel the Saramonok News Network, the precursor of the ABS-CBN News Channel. Equals evolution of ABS-CBN logos equals, the ABS-CBN corporate logo started from the Alto Broadcasting System's radio tower transmission waves graphic element and original typography that was conceptualized in 1956. James Lindenberg commissioned Delphin El Barrero, then a fresh fine arts graduate of the University of the Philippines in Diliman, to develop the ABS logo and its logotype. This would later make Barrero the creator of the iconic ABS-CBN logo of today. In 1966 before ABS and CBN merged, the original logo was modified by Barrero as also the creator of the first logo. In 1967, with the incorporation and final merger of the Quirino-owned Alto Broadcasting System and the Lopez-owned Chronicle Broadcasting Network, the logo was revised with the same original graphic elements and including the CBN typography. The logo was rendered in black and white for station ID. The colored rendition of the 1967 logo first appeared on the first color TV broadcast in the country within the year, and later became the company's logo upon its revival. The tri-band circles are in RGB. Red for Luzon, green for Visalas and blue for Mindanao. The colored variation was used subsequently until 2000. On January 1, 2000, ABS-CBN modified its corporate logo. The previous logo, which heralded ABS-CBN as the largest TV network in the country gave way to the present logo styling. The tri-band circles derived from the original radio transmission waves graphic element with colors, red, green, blue with the vertical line at the center still remained and the logotype was enhanced, with the ABS and CBN names merged to create the ABS-CBN name now situated below with a new, modern typography. In 2013, ABS-CBN announced that they were going to use a new logo as part of his 60th anniversary of Philippine television. In the new logo, the logo remained in its 2000 design, but the rings and line are shown to be thicker, and the text used a new simplified rotis font style which includes hook less A, B, and N letters, and a completely different version of the C which replaces the 2000 style C letter, with the S letter being the only one unchanged. The square changed its color to white, and if in case the logo is placed on a white background, the square is no longer used. The logo was unveiled on October 7, 2013 and was officially launched on January 1, 2014, 14 years after the 2000 logo was launched. Today, the tri-band radio transmission waves graphic element and the original typography are used in derivatives as logos and logotypes of subsidiaries of the ABS-CBN Corporation. Subsidiaries, here is a list of assets owned by ABS-CBN Corporation. The following are wholly owned and operated by ABS-CBN unless otherwise indicated. Main article, list of assets owned by ABS-CBN Corporation, ABS-CBN Australia Proprietary Limited. ABS-CBN Canada ULC, ABS-CBN Canada Remittance, Incorporated. ABS-CBN Centre for Communication Arts, Incorporated. ABS-CBN Convergence, Incorporated. ABS-CBN Europe Limited. ABS-CBN Europe Remittance, Incorporated. ABS-CBN Film Productions, Incorporated. ABS-CBN Global Cargo Corporation, ABS-CBN Global Limited. ABS-CBN Global Hungary KFT. ABS-CBN Global Netherlands BV, ABS-CBN Global Remittance. ABS-CBN Integrated and Strategic Property Holdings, Inc. ABS-CBN Interactive, ABS-CBN International, ABS-CBN Multimedia, Inc. ABS-CBN Japan, Inc. ABS-CBN Middle East FZ LLC, ABS-CBN Middle East LLC, ABS-CBN Publishing, Inc. ABS-CBN Shared Service Center PTE Limited. ABS-CBN Studios.
Inc. ABS-CBN Telecom North America, ABS-CBN Theme Parks and Resorts Holdings, Inc. ACJO Shopping Corporation, Vision Cable Television Network, Inc. Bright Moon Cable Networks, Inc. Cavity Cable Corporation, Cebu Cable Television, Inc. Capsule Consultancy and Management Corporation, Columbus Technologies, Inc. Creative Programs, Inc. Culinary Publications, Inc. Tave Cable Network, Inc. Discovery Cable, Inc. E-Money Plus, Inc. First Isla Candia CATV, Inc. HM Cable Networks, Inc. HMCA TV, Inc. Home Leopold Cable, Inc. Hotel Interactive Systems, Inc. iConnect Convergence, Inc. Isla Cable TV, Inc. JMY Advantage Corporation, Macton CA TV Network, Inc. Moonsat Cable Television, Inc. Pacific CA TV, Inc. Filipino Cable Corporation, Play Innovations, Inc. Play Innovations Hungary KFT. Professional Services for Television and Radio, Inc. Roadrunner Network, Inc. Rosetta Holdings Corporation, Saramanok News Network, Inc. Sapientis Holdings Corporation, Satellite Cable TV, Inc. Suburban Cable Network. Incorporated. Sunvision Cable, Incorporated, Sun Cable Holdings, Incorporated, Sun Cable Systems Deve, Incorporated. Sky Cable Corporation, Sky Vision Corporation, Star Recording, Incorporated Star Blackbird Music, New Gen Records, Star Music, Star Events, Star Songs, Incorporated. Studio 23, Incorporated. Tarlock Television Network. Incorporated. Telemundial Holdings, Incorporated. The Big Dipper Digital Content and Design, Incorporated. TV Food Chefs, Incorporated. Equals Affiliates Equals. Here is a list of companies that are affiliated with ABS CBN. Note that the company only holds economic interest to the following Amkara Broadcasting Network, ALA Sports Promotions International, Incorporated. Dorm Cacao Corporation, Medino Strategies, Inc. Equals Non-Profit Organizations Equals, ABS-CBN Foundation, Inc. The Umbrella Organization of Bante Bata, Bante Bataya, Bante Calicasen, Bayani Huan, E-Media, Capit Bizig Parazar I Log Parzig, and Sajip Kafamilia. ABS-CBN Bayan Foundation, Inc. 71 Dreams Foundation, Incorporated. References. Further reading, John A. Lent. Philippine Mass Communication Before 1811 and After 1966. Manila, Philippine Press Institute. ISBN 9780774812185. John A. Lent. Broadcasting in Asia and the Pacific, A Continental Survey of Radio and Television. Philadelphia, Temple University. ISBN 0877220689, National Conference on the Role of Communication in the Philippines After the Revolution, People Power and Communication in the Mid-1980s. Wanganui, Pace Publication. 1986, KPIS and NGMGA Broadcaster Tsar Pilipinas, the 1996 KBP Media Factbook. McCarty City. K. Pisnan NGMGA Broadcaster NG Pilipinas. 1996, Cecil Matutina. Pinoy Television, The Story of ABS-CBN. Quezon City, Pinpres Publishing, Inc. ISBN 9719210605, Raul S. de Vera. Philippine Studies Vol. 48, No. 2. Manila, Ateneo de Manila University, Philip Kitley. Television, Regulation and Civil Society in Asia. London, Routledge. 
ISBN 9781134431539. Ferrer, Ernst 1998. Television Across Asia, TV Industries, Program Formats and Globalization. London, Routledge. ISBN 9781134392539. Ferrer, Ernst 1998. Jenny Lopez and the Making of ABS-CBN. Quezon City, ABS-CBN Publishing, Inc. ISBN 9718161112, Jonathan Woodyer. The Media and Political Change in Southeast Asia, The Media and Political Change in Southeast Asia, Karaoke Culture and the Evolution of Personality Politics. Edward Elgar Publishing, Cheltenham. ISBN 9781848446381. Ferrer, Ernst 1998. Encyclopedia of Television 4 Vol. Set. London, Routledge. ISBN 9781135194375. Ferrer, Ernst 1998. Philippine broadcaster can rise 25%. Barons a Euro ABS CBN, Philippine broadcaster sends strong by signal. Capison and NGMGA broadcaster NG Pilipinas a Euro ABS CBN Broadcasting Corporation, Business Week a Euro ABS CBN Corporation, Bloomberg a Euro ABS CBN Corporation Profile, Ruit is a Euro ABS CBN Corporation Company Profile. Job Street a Euro ABS CBN Corporation Profile, Philippine Stock Exchange a Euro ABS CBN Corporation Company Info.